There are two new faces on the All-Ireland Champions team. Right half-back Liam Keohan makes his championship debut at number five, while taking the place of the retired Liam Fennelly at full forward is Fenian's man, Breen Ryan. Altogether, there are five players missing from the side that won the All-Ireland last September. Joe Walsh comes in at left corner back for Liam Simpson, while Anthony Prendergast replaces Michael Phelan at midfield. Despite the setbacks, the Black and Amber still have potential match winners up front in the form of DJ Carey, Eamon Morrissey and Adrian Ronan. At 37 years of age, Joachim Kelly is proving that like a good wine, good hurlers get better with age. Today he lines out at centre-back for his 19th championship season at centre-back, surrounded by two of the best hurlers in the country, all-star Brian Wilhelm and St. Rhinus Roy Mannion. Michal Keneally is combined with Johnny Pilkington in midfield, while the attack has familiar names that have served the faithful county well in the past. Paddy Corrigan is playing well at the moment, while inside him Johnny Dooley is beginning to fulfil all the promise he showed at underage level. Match referee Pat Delaney from Claudia Leash sets this match underway. A match in which the All-Ireland champions put their Leinster and All-Ireland titles on the line. Opoly, the fateful county, hoping to get back into the big time and a place in the Leinster semi-final. And they come quite the confident that today is going to be their day. E. Damon Cregan has told the boys of Opoly that today is the day when they move and transfer from boyhood into manhood. Can they do it? That's the question. Opoly into the attack. Joe Walsh coming in for Liam Simpson, getting a ball down for Bill Hennessy. Johnny Pilkington. And it's Hennessy that wins that tussle and comes away with it. Being outside to the roving centre-half forward, John Parr. Driving in a ball which sails beautifully over the bar. That's just after 58 seconds of play. The man from Callan puts Kilkenny in front. Well, brilliant pass here by Bill Hennessy and John Paul, who was one of the most improved players in the game last year. Certainly inspired centre forward from Kenny last year. Tremendous point for difficult angle. That Lewis Conference a lot of good. Kilkenny playing with a slight wind advantage in this first half. And we've had torrential rainfall here in Dublin just before this match started. So it's going to make conditions rather difficult for the players today. Yes, indeed, Marty. It pitch is quite heavy. Plenty of grass on it, but uh, given the rain in the last few days, it's certainly very heavy and uh, probably quite there for as well. And Johnny Pilkington has levelled the match. A fine point by the youngster from the town of Bar. Yeah, again, we will we'll be looking to Johnny Pilkington, who's a beautiful hurler, wearing number eight there today, and uh, lovely stylist shortens his script there in the hurley, as you'll notice, not to be hooked, and scores a lovely point from out the field. It's the mighty 37-year-old Jack Joachim Kelly. His tussle with John Power will be crucial. It says John Troy. Sending in a ball, Michael Walsh doing well. Noel Keneally grabbing it superbly. And hitting a slither, mighty, excellent score, straight over the bar. So the two Offaly midfielders combine to put the fateful county one point in front. Inspirational stuff from the two Offaly midfielders in the very early stages. Here's Eamon Morrissey. Keneally unable to grab it. The right half back Brian Wheelhand does. Keep an eye on his duel with DJ Carey. John Power. Brian Wheelhand not knowing exactly where it is. Johnny Pilkington, however, finds it and gives it to Michal Keneally. Well shouldered by John Power. Keneally bravely putting his head and his face into the flight of the hurling. And these awfully lads are putting everything into it. There's only three minutes gone, and they're making the All-Ireland champions fight all the way. Brian Whelan, lovely hurler, dropping a ball in. Well gathered, excellent by Pat Dwyer. He was a doubtful starter, but he's definitely in Crow Park. Down towards Liam McCarthy, switching play over, and again Whelan. Has three slippers he's won against DJ Carey. And 
Anthony Prendergast coming in to help. Referee, however, saying he picked the sticker off the ground. Gary Cowell from Offaly. So it's a free for Kilkenny. Pat O'Neill dropping it in. Cleared away, this is Liam McCarthy. Been tackled by Roy Mannion. This is an opportunity! Oh! Jim Troy! Somehow managed to get something in front of DJ Carey's shot and it went out for a 65. Well, great play by Bill Hennessy. And normally you'd expect DJ Carey. He's normally deadly in this situation, but good defending here. But Jim Troy comes off the line very fast and manages to smother it. But uh, normally you'd expect DJ Carey to bury that one. Brave goalkeeping by Jim Troy. And it's DJ himself that's going to take the 65. Dropping in and dropping wide. Good puck off by Jim Troy and the wind just catching the, the flight of the ball. Here comes Offaly's Paddy Corrigan. He knows where the goalposts are this afternoon. And that's his first point of this Leinster Championship match. A 32-year-old Paddy Corrigan looks like he's eager for a Leinster semi-final place. Well, again here, Paddy Corrigan uh, seems to take a few steps too many there, but he's got away with it and uh, using his experience again, shortens up to the and scores a lovely point. John Power. That's a high challenge by Michal Keneally. The referee immediately blowing the whistle. So it's another opportunity for TJ Carey to register a point. That's the angle he faces. He lifts it and strikes it perfectly. It's three points to two. Again, uh, DJ has a beautiful style of free taking and uh, you know he's a deadly free taker, one of the best in the game and uh, I love watching his style because he's not a beautiful player to watch in action and a uh, vital player for Kenny. Ball dropping down towards Johnny Kilkenden. Johnny when he's on form, awfully seems to have played a little bit better and that's his second point by the UCD students. Two points for Johnny Kilkenden. Four points, properly. Well, again, another excellent point from play, and this is just what uh, could awfully need today. A big performance from Johnny Pilkington, a beautiful score from play, and if he can keep this kind of performance up, he's going to cause huge problems for Kenny at centre field. Bill Hennessy tussling for the far side with Joachim Kelly. Dahi Regan coming in to gather it. Big hustling, burly centre-half forward. And he gets the break. There's certainly a big difference today, not only the way they started and the way they played last year. They seem to be much more committed and uh, look very eager and, uh, you know, I think it's going to be a difficult game for Kenny. Lee Hall, Keneally. St. Ryan's. Comes down towards Gary Cowell. Oh, brilliant save by Michael Walsh. Excellent. That's an inspirational save. Eventually went out for a 65. But Michael Wald certainly came to his side's rescue there. Brilliant stuff. Certainly dangerous signs of Kenny in the early moments of this game. Awfully creating all the dangerous openings. And uh, great chance here for uh, Gary Cahill. Hits it in. Brilliant save by Michael Wald, who was outstanding all through the season last year. Has started off equally well today. It's a fantastic save. Brian Whelahan taking the 65. Pat Dwyer knocking on it. Knocking it down first, Pat O'Neill. Bill Hennessy. Trying to get it down past Dean McCarthy. Roy Mannion staying with him. Mannion doing well. Some people will often criticise that he's not a hard worker. He's showing there that he's a worker. Ball drops down towards Johnny Dooley. Oh, good play by Offaly. His first point, keeping the Dooley reputation flying in Crook Park. And awfully have taken all the chances that have come their way here. A high dropping ball missed by the Kikini defence and Johnny Dooley. Uh, again, you know, all the awfully forwards look very sharp today and turns onto his left hand, scores a lovely point. DJ Carey and Brian Whelan. And nipping in is Joachim Kelly. Half 
Just blocked down. Same in Morrissey. Bursting his way through. Scoring position well hooked by Roy Mannion. And again blocked down. And off oh, oh, lovely pull by Roy Mannion. Out towards Johnny Dooley. Paddy Corrigan sending it down. This is Pat O'Neill. And that's going to be a line ball for Kilkenny. You just sense, Jimmy, that uh, Offaly, right throughout the field, are first to the ball and playing with tremendous determination. Yes, indeed, and particularly in the defence, they're very tight on all the Kilkenny forwards. And, uh, you know, it's the first time I've seen Kilkenny playing without Liam Fenley at full forward. And it's going to be a test of some of their forwards, obviously, how they reacted over him as a leader up there. And here's the man that's replacing Green Ryan. And from a very difficult angle, he puts it over the bar. His first in a championship match for Kilkenny. Well, that certainly is scored in for any young player coming to the Kilkenny side. And a very difficult angle and off his right-hand side shoots a beautiful point. And uh, I was just talking about Liam Fenley. He'd been very proud of a score like that. Willie O'Connor unable to control that dropping ball. And Wakey's effort blocked down. He's out towards Bill Hennessy. Play anywhere, really, Bill Hennessy. Many years of right corner back. He's out towards Green Ryan. Shane McCookie. On a baller, and the referee has blown the whistle. I think Shane picked the slitter straight off the ground when he was under pressure. And it's a free for Kilkenny. And a relatively easy task, particularly with wind advantage, for DJ Carey. To be honest, Marty, I thought he actually picked up the ball with the hurley under pressure there, and he did it so quickly. The referee thought he must have picked it off the ground, but I don't think he did. You can see uh, Eva Morrissey and uh, Brian Ryan putting the, the off defence under pressure and Shane McGuckin is on his knees actually and it's he's so near to the ground he actually rolls the ball on the hurley and catches in his hand quite legitimately so in fairness it wasn't a free into Kenny. Well spotted Jimmy. As the rain comes pouring down on Coke Park again Pat O'Neill bursting his way out Liam McCarthy and again says Johnny Pilkington and for that wild pull by Liam McCarthy I think it was Liam McCarthy more than uh, Bill Hennessy. It's a free for league. You can see it is really lashing down here in Croke Park now. And towards Anthony Prendergast. Back to Willie O'Connor. Puts the pressure on Offaly. Adrian Ronan. Having switched corners with Eamon Morrissey. And comes back off the post and Jim Troy was alert. Again just Brian Whelan. Anthony Prendergast, knocked away by Michal Keneally, and that's a line ball for Kilkenny. Nice cut. Shane McCulkey and knocking it away, Adrian Rowland chasing after it, and gathering it, half blocked down. In towards Martin Hanemey the time and composure to send it up to Dahi Regan. Pulled on by Pat O'Neill. John Power. To Atkins says Michal Keneally, it's your ball. John Rigney and John Troy underneath it. Knocked away. Troy sending it in to Johnny Dooley. Two Kikini players there. One of them is Pat Dwyer. That's good covering by the uh, Carrick Shockman. Anthony Prendergast. Damon Morrissey. And Eamon Morrissey is now in the centre of the field looking for possession. Martin Hennemey 
looking it up towards Adrian Ronan. This is Roy Mannion. It's a poor chance, however, by Mannion. Comes back to Adrian Ronan. He steps up the chance and puts it over the bar. Good point by Adrian Ronan. His first of this Leinster Championship match. Uh, well, again, a high ball to Kenny Fowler, who are getting very little change over the offly backs. And Ryan Mannion really should have cleared this ball further. And all he succeeded in doing was uh, giving an easy chance to Adrian Rowan, who set, accepted the opportunity fairly gratefully. But to Kenny put forward and not getting any change over the off the full backline at all. It's interesting that Eamon Cregan at the far side has switched his team around, and Dahi Regan is now playing full forward. John Rigney is playing at left half. And John Troy and Johnny Dooley have switched corners. This is Gary Cow, still playing in his familiar position, giving it to Dooley. Trying to get inside Joe Walsh. Johnny Dooley. Oh, that's a superb point by Johnny Dooley because he really was being very well marked by Joe Welch and he still managed to get it straight over Michael Welch's crossbar again here good ball across the field um, and uh, you know Gary Kelly just keeps Gary Carl keeps the ball uh, alive he's under pressure spots Johnny Dooley outside him and uh, again it's a very difficult point in these conditions the hurley is slipping the ball is wet which scores a lovely point off his left hand a very difficult score and very well taken hopefully have introduced Michael Dignan to their forward line and certainly he's going to add a lot more strength Certainly is a strong breeze because uh, Jim Troy's puck out slipper being held by the breeze, dropping that little bit short. And they do get a free. Yes, indeed, and it's going to be a, a tough slot for Kenny in the second half. If Offaly go in the clear four-point lead, it's going to be a great incentive to the underdogs to keep pegging away, and if they can just keep pegging on the points, Kenny have enough an uphill battle certainly to stay in the championship. They haul Keneally. Oh, that's a superb break. And certainly, Keneally and Johnny Pickerton have now got five points scored between them, and they're playing very well. Well, you know, these are very difficult frees in the conditions in particular. Wet ball, wet hurley, and uh, difficult to control it. But uh, they've taken all the chances that have come their way, and uh, as you said, five points return from their two midfielders is tremendous. Anthony Prendergast leaving it for Willie O'Connor, surely called by Gary Cahill, and he too gets the break. <laughs> DJ Carey to take the break. This is outside the Offaly 45. Hurling in, Jim Troy, looking to just get a hurly to it. Dean McCarthy, and away comes Martin Henry. That's great defending by Offaly. McKinney, DJ Carey, unlucky to keep it in. Some people would have thought it was a bit foolish even to go for that slither. Again, it's this tremendous save here by Jim Troy because in, in these conditions, I don't want to be going too much about it, but these balls are tremendously difficult to save and it skids off the ground and just positions himself in the right position and that's very good goalkeeping, he knocked away well and again, good covering on Liam McCarthy's set and chance here and the offensive defence crowding out very well and uh, getting the ball away to safety. Liam McCarthy putting pressure on Offaly and DJ Carey, his first real opportunity, pushing his way forward! for 33 minutes but just one little flash of inspiration and you can take it out well he's been kept quiet for so long he's not, you know just showed the class that this player has he just strikes he just before half time what a the stage he's under pressure here moving into a bad angle as well but a brilliant shot across from Troy giving him no chance fantastic goal by DJ Carey and a touch of class from DJ Carey and now just one point between the sides. Eddie O'Connor under pressure from John Troy. And the captain inspired by his left half forward. And Kilkenny now playing with renewed vigor. At precisely the right time. Half time, just less than two minutes away. Willie O'Connor. Nice skill by the left half back from Glenmore. Towards Eamon Morrissey. Brian Whelahan. 
Joachim Kelly is available to his right. This is Joachim. Sending it straight down towards Cahi Regan. Pat Neal. The big lad. From the Young Ireland's club in Doran. Getting it down for his Liam McCarthy. Adrian Ronan. DJ with Brian Whelan right beside him. Johnny Pilkington sending it right down the middle. Gary Cowell met by a fair shoulder from Anthony Prendergast. John Troy. Slippery conditions causing problems for the Kilkenny man there. Johnny Cooley with Joe Welsh. And Welsh is playing well at cornerback. Eamon Morrissey coming out to meet it first time. Being harassed by Joachim Kelly. Joachim is fouled. And he certainly felt that one. But he gets the free and he'll be satisfied with that. Yeah, I think a silly free given away by Eamon Morrissey there because uh, Joachim Kelly was under pressure and uh, here you can see it. Um, Joachim Kelly manages to knock the ball away from him. Eamon Morrissey. I think it's more frustration on Eamon Morrissey's part than anything else. He just whips silly across Joachim Kelly and uh, gives Michael Cornelio another good chance of a point for Offaly. The Hall Keneally hitting it well and hitting it straight over the bar. Keneally and Pilkington are level now at midfield with three points each. And it puts Offaly with a two-point advantage. Well, certainly another brilliant free by Keneally and it's uh, just the kind of score they needed after DJ Carey's goal and that'll give them a great confidence boost going in at halftime. injury time in this first half and the referee Pat Delaney from Leash says enough is enough for this first half a match that despite atrocious weather conditions producing at times some very fine hurling and awfully with a fine team performance must be a little bit disappointed that there are only two points ahead because certainly DJ Carey made the difference with a brilliant goal half time score awfully 10 points Kilkenny 1-5 Pat Delaney starts the second half and certainly that goal just before half time set up Kilkenny nicely for this final 35 minutes and on this occasion of course Kilkenny are playing against the breeze indeed Jimmy as you said to me at half time but the way the uh, pitch is at the moment, it's so heavy that the wind isn't a major factor. Yes, and that the match, uh, conditions help to keep the game very tight and it's difficult for players to get away from their markers and that. But uh, certainly all the advantages lie with Offaly at the moment, Marty, with the wind in their favour. And, uh, you know, Kilkenny giving away some silly freeze at times and giving Offaly, uh, Michael Keneally, who's absolutely deadly today from freeze, every opportunity. Here's Keneally dropping it in. And on this occasion, sends it wide. That's Offaly's second wide of the match. Well, that just shows Marty how well they've taken all their chances that have come their way in a car, except for Michael Walsh's brilliant save in the first half, they could have even been further ahead. So Kenny will need to get a grip in the middle of the field fast and get the DJ Carey, Eamon Morrissey in particular, much more involved in the game overall. Here come Kate Kenny now in Hennessy. Adrian Ronan leaving it for John Parr. Half blocked down by Roy Mannion. And he put him off enough to... Uh, Force John Power into the air. That's just to find a wide that Kenny don't need. Uh, you know, playing against the wind in particular. You know, John Power is a player who can be so influential, and they, they need him to take on uh, Joachim Kelly and break the grip in the, in the centre half forward position there. But that was a ball he, just, he should just knock across the square and take the pressure off his own teammates to try and bring them into the play a bit more. That's just the point I've been trying to make, Marty, that when you have a bad wide like that at the other end, that awfully playing with the wing, the chip tries landing the ball right down and putting pressure on it, can he defend straight away? Keneally trying to curl it. Oh, excellent play again. Michael Keneally, the awfully midfielder, making it its fourth point of this Leinster Championship match. Again, uh, Fantastic exhibition of the free taking so far by Michael Keneally and uh, difficult conditions. He just judges the wind right to bring it inside the post. Beautiful free. Anthony Prendergast. Not a great line ball by any means. DJ Carey is there. Back to Prendergast. 
a good testing ball, Adrian Ronan. And Jim Troy is there. Oh! It almost went in. It was so close. But the umpires were right there. And the reaction from the crowd up behind the goal was that they all raised their umbrellas, thinking that this was in. But this time, Anthony Prendergast puts it over the bar. Right, again, uh, loose clearance there by Ryan Mannion and uh, giving Kenny an easy point. He could clear the ball a lot further than that. And uh, if, here you can see the chance. Yeah, this is the chance of the goal just a second ago. Good ball in here by Anthony Prendergast. And uh, Jim Adrian Rona just fails to make contact with it. And Jim Troy actually turning in towards his own goal. Again, gets a little control cross and nearly knocks it inside his own post. But uh, luckily for him, it just stays outside it. Long puck out by Jim Troy. Pat O'Neill adding to it. Anthony Prendergast and John Troy again. Donnie Regan. This time fouled by John Paul. And referee is giving the free to Opoly. John Troy taking over the free taking duties and he puts it straight over the bar. Opoly. 12 points to Kenny. 1-6. This is the free a uh, few seconds ago there, a uh, vital free as well because it's given off the three-point lead and you can see Dahi Regan taking on uh, Pat O'Neill who just uh, takes more of the game. Nothing very vicious but a uh, simple free for off in there with a good three-point lead which is very, very important at this stage. Thank you. Kenny have introduced Liam Welsh, gone off is Liam Kion. DJ Carey is deadly in the half chances and in fairness Brian Whelan has played him very well all day but DJ Carey snaps up that chance and a beautiful strike around a beautiful, lovely point there for Kenny. I think it's also significant that Kenny have moved DJ Carey to centre half forward and they'll be hoping that uh, he can uh, make more of an impact there than John Powell did. It's surprising actually Jimmy that they haven't moved Brian Whelan after DJ Carey in the centre half back. Exactly because he's played him absolutely brilliantly all day and uh, despite giving away a goal he's done very, very well on him. Green Ryan a dangerous ball. Jim McCarthy. Back outside, Jamin Morrissey. There was a poor pass, and Roy Mannion is there. Dahi Regan. Runs on kindly for Johnny Dooley. And that is gone straight over the bar. And really, awfully, if Adrian, if Chichi uh, Carey could do it at one end, Johnny Dooley could do it at the other. Good play here by Johnny Dooley, does the right thing, the perfect response to DJ Carey's point. Just takes a nice simple point and knocks it over the bar with the wind behind him. PJ Delaney is introduced to the Kilkenny attack. And that's really where they're having their problems and gone off, surprisingly, is Eamon Morrissey. Knocked away by Joachim Kelly. Willie O'Connor coming forward. That surely is a high challenge, referee waves play on. Liam McCarthy. He is straight across and well pulled up. Excellent by Brian Hennessy. That was John Troy. Gary Cahill. And Eddie O'Connor. And it's the Tigerish cornerback, Eddie O'Connor, that comes away with it. Brother Willie calls and Brother Willie gets. Dangerous in around the house, Liam McCarthy. Well blocked down by Hennessy. And Joachim is there. Sending it straight down the middle. Towards Paddy Corrigan. Well gathered again. 
win by Kilkenny. They're playing with a lot more determination now. It's that time of the match when it could be won or lost. 21 minutes gone in the second half, and it's cleared way down by Brian Wheelahan. Gary Cowell, Guy Regan. It may not be brilliant hurling, but it certainly is being played at a frantic pace. Liam McCarthy, switching it in towards the middle. PJ Delaney, stepping up the half chance. Good defending. Good enough as that goes over the bar. PJ Delaney reduces Hoffley's lead to two points. Yes, a lovely point by PJ Delaney. Gets his body around the ball well, and uh, that's a difficult angle. And just what Kenny needed a point at this stage to keep them within a goal of uh, or within two points of Hoffley, and will certainly give him plenty of opportunity opportunities yet. Here comes uh, Dahi Regan. <laughs> into Willie O'Connor. John Power battling with Brian Wheelahan. And it comes back to John Power. A high challenge by Joachim Kelly. And suddenly, Offaly find themselves under increasing pressure. Ten minutes to go. Kilkenny with Anthony Prendergast from virtually the same position of a moment ago. Doesn't really get the same distance or height into it. Comes to Roy Mannion. Confidently coming forward with PJ Delaney after it. And that's going to be a line ball for the faithful county. Well hit by Martin Hanemey. Paul Keneally, Dahi Regan, Paddy Corrigan. With Liam Welch. Eddie O'Connor is there. Switches play over to this side for Adrian Ronan to run on to. Oh, that's a very high challenge. A dangerous challenge by Roy Mannion. And Adrian Ronan went straight down. And the referee, having checked with the Gilkenny corner forward, is now booking Roy Mannion. I think it's dealing there with a shoulder charge. I must say, my initial reaction at least was to say it was far from a shoulder. Well, a good play here, but kind of using the open space. Then Adrian Ronan got the ball quite easily here. And uh, you can see me turn to take on Roy, Roy Mannion here in a very high, absolutely dangerous tackle by Roy Mannion there. And the referee has no option but to put him off the field, Marty. And that's exactly what he's done to me. Roy Mannion is gone. It's 14 against 15 men. And Offaly, one point to the good. 27 minutes gone in the second half. It's going to be a titanic struggle for the last eight minutes. Mihal Keneally. If Offaly now are going to win this match, they have to get a score and they have to get it quickly. And Michael Walsh is there to prevent it. Three days eight. And out for a 65. That's a hard stopper. And all of Kilkenny's side. Well, again, it's just the conditions that make it so hard for goalkeepers. And uh, John Dooley hits the ground shot in here. Michael Walsh does well to control it, and he has the hard part done, but just takes right off the ball at a vital second uh, and kicks it over 65. It would be interesting to see what we respond. We've seen the last number of weeks how uh, 40 men have tended to win all the vital games. So, uh, you know, it can often lift the team at a vital stage. And Hall Keneally. That's exactly what they needed was a score by the St. Rhinos man. But five points now he has to his credit, but that is probably the most important. Now Eamon Cregan is very much a tactician and very much knows his game. Can he now produce something for this awfully 14-man effort? The All-Ireland champions are trailing by two points, but they do have numerical advantage. Joe Ackham doesn't matter how many Kilkenny men he takes on, he just bursts through them to Johnny Pilkington. To Dahi Regan and Pat O'Neill, magnificent stuff by the Kilkenny number six. Then he a low ball, an intelligent ball out towards Green Ryan. He switched to his corner forward now. Shoulder Duffet, Ryan Hennessy, Adrian Ronan, 
and Hennessy going down and they're all going all over the place. Can anyone send a pound now? Pulled down by Paddy Corrigan. Eddie O'Connor with three to Teddy players to his left and right. At times, kicks away. Eddie drops it in. DJ Carey underneath it. So too is John Carr. Liam McCarthy. And it's Carey that has it. Hand passing it inside to John Carr. Putting his way forward. First of his way forward. Is that a penalty? The referee has his hand up in the air, indicating that it is a penalty. Drama in close park. And John Carr was the man that burst his way forward. And he might have a headache, but when he gets up, he'll be delighted to see that he's won a penalty. Well, Matt, I'm not so sure about this one. A brilliant pass played by DJ Carey again, who gathers the ball up. John Paul gathers it quite well here. Ducks inside the defender, and, uh, you know, he takes one, two, three, four. You know, it seems as if he's playing for the free there rather than trying to strike the ball. And I think maybe just a bit harsh on Offaly. It's going to be a talking point to me. And particularly if DJ Carey wrestles the back of Jim Troy's neck. He's done it so many times. Manufactured or not by John Parr. Kilkenny has the penalty. Carey, he usually hits these at a ferocious pace. And it's gone in. Kilkenny, the All-Ireland champion, are back in business. And the North Siders know it. They've struggled and jittered through this Leicester Championship match, but now find themselves with five minutes left, one point to the good. Well, he's the one player you'd like on your side if you get a penalty in your two points down and uh, just like in the All-Ireland final last year, chose it about four yards ahead of himself and 30 to the back of net. Brilliant penalty. And it seems to just straight into the action. Well pulled up. John Troy. Pat Dwyer now operating as the extra man. Sitting it down to us, Liam McCarthy again. Martin Hanemi. This is Brian Wheelerhead. Well won. Prendergast and he fights for his free and he gets it. Well, in fairness, Anthony Prendergast, he might have made much of an impact in the first half, but certainly in the last 10 minutes he has proved very, very strong for Kenny. And uh, all the sectors were quite right. I would say maybe they might try to change there, but uh, he has certainly come good there. And uh, here again, a wonderful uh, catch there in the air and, uh, you know, taking on the off player and forcing the free again. Very good play by Prendergast. DJ. Champions have shown that they have the character to fight back. Yes, indeed, Marty. Kaiser is what it's all about when you're struggling, and uh, the Kenny haven't played well today. And a couple of players have really pulled them through. I think DJ Carey, Willie O'Connor in particular, DJ has had an outstanding game, but uh, he's got vital scores and played a great opening rather. Now, can Offaly at the other end do something? Michael Dykeman. Hospital passes, they say, into Michal Keneally. They need to try and create a goal here. Oh, it's hard pulling now. And the referee gives the free to Kilkenny. The Offaly players protest. And the funny thing that behold Keneally is the man that's going to be booked. The referee Pantanini is doing that. Tensions mounting by the second. Yeah, Matt, I think Pantanini has uh, refereed again very well in fairness. And uh, Michael, I think if you watch this again here, Mike Keneally has actually lost possession. He gathers it up here and uh, tries to get knocked for the uh, Manti Prendergast accidentally, races through and actually loses control of the ball here. And after he loses, he just pulls wildly and, uh, you know, he has no chance to hit the ball here a few times, just pulls the cross pick any players and the uh, referee quite rightly books him. Well, by our stopwatch, we have now reached 35 minutes of the second half. For entry injury time, and often they find themselves trailing by two points, but they do have a line ball. to take it. Cuts it sweetly to Dahi Regan. Down towards Dean McCarthy and the referee has blown the final whistle. An amazing comeback by Kilkenny Rayleigh. They were never out of it. Offaly 